Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use core layout elements within Polymer. Now, these things can be a little bit tricky if you haven't used them before, but we're gonna get into a little bit of things called layout attributes, which we're gonna cover more in later videos. We're gonna get a basic example going using a basic header toolbar area, and then a content area using the core toolbar and the core header panel custom elements. So now these core layout elements work a little bit different than what we've seen. So let's actually get into it right now and start exploring. Okay, so in the last video we had our core element that we dropped in here and it just created this tooltip nice and easily. Well, in addition to elements like things like a tooltip, Polymer also offers layout elements. Now layout elements do useful things for you like creating toolbars and headers and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get started with using some layout elements. So the first core element we're going to be using for our layout is the core header panel. So like it says, it's really just a panel for your header. What we can do here is just simply copy this last core component and I'm going to use this as a template for my second core element here. So instead of core tooltip, it's going to be core header panel. Okay, and I'm just gonna copy and paste this in here and we're also gonna be using core hyphen, uh, header hyphen panel dot HTML for the file itself. And let's go ahead and start using this. So just like before, we just need to call our element. And like we saw with the core tooltip element, this element's going to be wrapping. So we were able to put a span within this last element. And we're going to be putting stuff within this element too. So we can type core hyphen header hyphen panel as our element here. So we now have our core header panel here. And what this panel is actually doing is it's basically saying you have a header section and a content section. And we're gonna have to define that code. So this is merely just a wrapper for our content. But before we get into that, we're gonna have to go over something really quick called layout attributes. Now, you don't have to worry the specifics right now. However, we're going to use some layout attributes on our body tag to specify some things about our document. So we can say that just like any other attribute here, we can say that this is going to be full bleed, this is going to be a layout, and it's going to be vertical. Now, like I said, we're gonna go over the specifics about layout attributes in other videos. You can always check out Polymer's documentation in the meantime. However, let's go ahead and refresh our page. You can now see that we have this shadow here and you'll notice that on our body, if we inspect our code, we're getting some really interesting stuff going on. We have uh, you know, flex direction column, we have a display flex, margin zero, and a height uh, 100 VH. So if you wanna see more about what's going on there, you can always check out the layout attributes section and see what each of those is doing. However, like I said, we're gonna go over layout attributes in depth in a few videos. Okay, now let's go ahead and add a second core element here. We've been using the core header panel. Let's go ahead and import the core toolbar. So just like before, I'm using this as a template here because these are all gonna be located in the core elements folder in the Bower components. So just like that, core hyphen toolbar. Okay, and then core hyphen toolbar.html. Okay, so now within our core panel, we can use our core toolbar. So we can do that by typing core toolbar as an element, just like we've been doing already. Okay, cool. Now for our core toolbar, let's just go ahead and throw a div in here and say, hello. Let's go ahead and delete the tooltip. I'm gonna delete the link here as well as the tooltip core uh, element that we had here just to clean this up a little bit. I also deleted this platform.js that we had in here. Uh, it's been changed from platform.js to webcomponents.js, which we added in the last video. So the last script, uh, having both of those scripts is um, not necessary. So here we're a little bit cleaned up, but uh, we still want this to work correctly. So what do we have to do here? Well, we actually need to give the header panel an explicit height. Now, one really easy way to do that is to use the layout attribute flex 
on the core header panel itself. Now we're also going to want to apply some styles to the core toolbar. So just like we uh, theme any element with CSS, in our CSS we can use core toolbar just like that. And we can say that the background color for the core toolbar can be something like uh, let's use 333. Three, three. I know that's not really colorful or anything. And for color, we'll just say uh, F, which is white. So we have a darkish gray and then a white. Okay, so keep in mind that we have these layout elements, but they come don't come with any default styling other than some things like maybe like a drop shadow or some layout stuff, right? So you shouldn't expect them to look any particular way until we add CSS. Okay, now let's go ahead and check this out upon refresh. We now have this toolbar at top that says hello. And if we come back to our HTML, within the core header panel in the core toolbar, and just underneath the core toolbar here, is where we would want to put our content. So we could just say anything here. Uh, I don't have like lorem ipsum text or anything handy, so I'm just going to paste in a bunch of hellos. Okay, sure, that's fine. Now let's refresh. And as you can see here, we have our, our toolbar up top and we have our hello text down below. Now this is just a basic version of using these layout elements. But as you can see, they're adding some uh, Flexbox stuff for us and they're adding some basic CSS layout stuff for us and leaving the styling up to us. In the next video, we're going to take you through some more advanced layout elements. We're going to create things like tabs and navigation drawers and all these things really easily just by dropping in some elements. And in the middle of that, we're going to teach you a little bit more about layout attributes and give you the full rundown on what you can do with them. So we're just getting started. As I keep saying with Polymer, there's a lot here, a lot of stuff that will make you really believe that web components are the future of the web itself. So keep watching and we're going to get into that later. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.